Personal branding can be summed up in one question. Who are you to your fans? It, it took quite a, a while, a few years for me to get that answer, but you don't need to take years. You just simply have to answer this question. Who are you to your fans? Three and a half years ago, I looked at the slip that Facebook and Google gave me and I was thinking I am not going to be living on this paycheck. So from that day, I decided to create products. Once you discover your personal branding, it opens up so many opportunities. You will get to see the joy that you can connect it with you and your fans. Uh, at the start of the year, uh, Nassar, he, he, he messaged me. He said, um, what did he say? He said, um, Woody, would it be great if you could come and talk to 600 creators in the first ever NAS Summit? It's going to be so much fun. <laughs> I love Nasai. He's a great ball of energy. Congrats to the team again for creating such a great summit. I'm from Thailand, a country known for people's long names, uh, the longest in the world, but mine happens to be one of the shortest, and that's Woody. And in all the shows that I've hosted, there's a Woody in there somewhere, Woody Talk, Woody FM. I used to do a, a morning show uh, in Thai, it's called Chow Du Woody. In English, it's literally translated as Morning Woody. And my friends from the States would come to Thailand and make fun of me. Morning, Woody! Morning, Woody! Ever since I was a kid, people would be making fun of my name, but none of them knew how far this, this name would take me. I started in the industry a few years back by being a, a, a talk show host on television. I love talking to people. I was born to talk. I enjoy talking. And I did that for almost a decade until one day I did something where people said that I was very, I, I, it was one of the most stupidest thing I did. But for me, it was a crazy thing that I did. I decided at the peak of my career in television to quit TV. I quit television because I saw a medium that would change the way that I could connect with my fans forever. And do you know what that is? Facebook Live. Facebook Live. The first time that I went live, I was getting a haircut in a salon, and um, I saw the live button, I pressed live. And then, I, from 10 viewers to 1,000 viewers, in just a few minutes' time, I had 100,000 people watching me getting my haircut. I was like, what is this? What in the world? What the f is this? And people were engaging with me. They, 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 they gave me haircut tips, they gave me styling tips, but some of them were very mean and cruel. They wanted to see my, my ears getting chopped off. So mean. But at that point, it was an awakening moment for me. I knew right then and there that I am able to connect with a large audience anytime, anywhere. I no longer need to be confined to the restrictions of television schedules and formats, and it's so much cheaper. So I decided right then and there that I am going to shift everything to live. So I shifted all my content, my formats to live. I quit television. And most importantly, with live, you can be yourself. If I screw up, I can say, oh, shit. Oh, shit. And I, and I love to curse, but I can't do that on TV. And on TV in Thailand, you cannot curse. You can't drink. Uh, do you guys drink? Who, who, who drinks? I, I, love, I love drinking wine. I can't drink on TV, and I can't curse, but I can do that on live. So that became my... My, my next career in my life, Woody Live. I would live all day, morning, day, and night. Other people in the business, they would live once or twice a day. And by the way, live is huge in Thailand. It's, it's the, the most, I'd say, the biggest product beyond anything else. People go live every day. But at that time, I was living all day long. I would meet people, and I would live. Uh, I would wake up, and I would live. I would go to bed, and I would live. I would live all the time, except when I'm taking a dump. Um, that's a no-no. I wouldn't cross that line. But the point is, I, I had so much fun doing live, and people asked me, don't you ever get bored, Woody, of doing live? But I knew that to be great and to be excellent at something, you need to have consistency. You got to do it every day. I didn't, I didn't have any income at first from the start. And don't forget, I came from television where the income was this much, and live it was this big. 
I didn't have any sponsors, but I knew that this was going to be the future. So I, I stuck in there for months, and after doing live every day, sponsors began to come. Sponsors began to come in, and I was finally rewarded. But most importantly for me for Facebook Live, I get to be myself. I get to be the real Woody. On TV, I wasn't the real Woody, so my fans got to connect with me. From Woody the TV host, I became Woody the, the, the friend that's always there with them. In just a few months' time after going live, my, my fans became my new best friends. My fans became my friends that I want to confide with. I would share with them my personal stories, my ups and downs, um, and they'd share their stories with me too as well. And we would talk about all subject matters. I made sure I was there for them. This meaning I had to reply all messages and I would comment. Uh, I would reply all comments. I made sure I heard them out. I want to be there for them when they're always there for me. We talk about mental health issues. I talk about my depression, anxiety, all these topics. And also we try to find solutions to help one another. The day that I think I became the most authentic self with my fans was the day that I decided to open up about my sexuality to them. It was one of the most it was one of the most, I would say, scariest moment of my life. I, I, I felt a bit, I don't know what to do, but I came out. And for me, it was one of the most special moments because the good news is they, they gave me so much love and support. And I got to be myself 100% after that day. <laughs> and authenticity from then on became my personal brand. I was able to say honest things like never before. For instance, I can say things like, oh, I didn't know how the interview with David Beckham went, but I think he's so hot. I could never have said that before. Oh, he's so hot. He smelled so nice, by the way, in the interview. I was just smelling him all the time. I looked at his eyes. I'm sure that he, he had that homoerotic moment with me. It was all in my head, by the way. But I could, I could share that with my fans like never before. To me, personal branding can be summed up in one question. Who are you to your fans? Who are you to your fans? For me, I am that fun, I think I'm fun. I am that fun, reliable, authentic friend that solves, finds problems, uh, sorry, finds solutions to their problems. And that was me. What about you guys? Who are you to your fans? It, to me, it, it took quite a, a while, a few years for me to get that answer, but you don't need to take years. You just simply have to answer this question. Who are you to your fans? Be patient, be persistent. Who are you to your fans and what value do, you, do they see in you? Keep asking that question and you will definitely find the answer. Be patient and be persistent. When I knew that was my personal branding, me being authentic, that took me to another game in life. I never knew that I was going to be Woody the entrepreneur. Who here is an entrepreneur? Show of hands. Who wants to be an entrepreneur? Show of hands. Okay. Uh, people tell me, you know, Woody, with your brand, you can own so many products, you can be an entrepreneur. I'm like, no, I am not going to be an entrepreneur. I'm just going to create content and make a living by just doing content until the day I die. But guess what? Three and a half years ago, I looked at the slip that Facebook and Google gave me, and I was thinking I am not going to be living on this paycheck because it's not going to be paying my bills, and I ain't going to go back to television. So from that day, I decided to become an entrepreneur and decided to create products. This was what happened. We decided to create products and, and turn our, our fans and followers into loyal customers. Three years ago, I remember I had 14 million followers, and I thought, you know what? It would be exciting if just 1% of those followers became our, our returning customers. So to create great products, I had to look at who? Myself. I had so many problems with my life. I, I wanted to have energy while I'm working, or, or I wanted to sleep better because I, I couldn't sleep enough. 
and I, I wanted to, I have problems with pooping. Who here has problems with pooping? Pooping? Yeah, you should use my products. So, so I have so many issues with myself, and then I shared that with my fans. I said, do you have the same problem as me, or would you be willing to pay for such a product? And we would discuss that. I didn't just launch a product and say, hey, buy this Woody product. It takes months for me to be discussing about the possibility of creating a product with my fans. So after discussion, I'm so fortunate that I have an awesome team and partners to find solutions to all these problems. And finally, at the end, we came out with products, and I shared those solutions with my fans, and they shared that with their friends, and it became an ecosystem of Woody content and products. But you have to understand the most important part is that my fans were willing to try all my products, and they gave me honest feedbacks. Great fans, real fans, want to support you. They want to be there for you. They, for me, they love me. They want to see me through. They want to make sure that I succeed. But on my part, I have to make sure that, you know, I over-deliver on my promises. So for the past few years, my team has set out a mission to create the best products and to turn our millions of followers into customers. And um, I am so proud of them because for the past few years, we've done so many products. Um, and here they are, uh, whether it be Woody drinks. Uh, we have tons of Woody drinks. Uh, we have um, Woody supplements. We have Woody foods. We have Woody eyewear. This is just to name a few. And out just four days ago, Woody pillow. This happens to be, and I'm not overclaiming, the most comfortable pillow in the world. If you have any sleeping problems, this pillow will change your life forever. Get them online now, guys. Now, I'm not saying that you should go out there and start your line of clothing or furniture or fashion. I'm just saying that once you discover your personal branding, it opens up so many opportunities. You will get to see the joy that you can connect it with you and your fans. So I think that it's very important right now for us to start to work on our personal branding. For me, my personal branding became clear when, I, when my fans saw my authenticity. And I am sure that each and every one of you has your unique path onto getting to that personal branding, but I need you to answer this question. And I'm repeating this again and again. Who are you to your fans? Who are you to your fans? You need to be patient. You need to be persistent. But you got to keep asking that question. Who are you to your fans? Now, guys, I, I wish you the best of luck. Whoever wants to be an entrepreneur, whoever wants to use their personal branding to create more stuff or create more content, I am so excited for a lot of you, and I hope that you will succeed. And in the nearest future, I hope to be able to come back here to NAS Summit and listen to some of you guys talk about your personal branding. Thank you. Woo! Thank wow, you, Woody. Wow, 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 wow. You have gained... Oh, oh, wait, wait, I forgot one thing. A surprise. Oh. Wait, 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 before you go. I have a surprise for you guys. Ooh. I want you guys to come to Thailand with me. Have, have you guys ever been to Thailand? You have? Do you want to go back to Thailand? Let's talk about Thailand right now. We have amazing people, amazing food. Uh, show me, show me, show me. The pictures of that. Amazing food, amazing people, amazing culture. You know what? I am going to be... I'm going to announce right now. I, I want to take you guys back to Thailand so bad that I, I contacted my friends at the Tourism Authority of Thailand, and I said, let's, let's do something fun, okay? So we came out with this concept, amazing creator in amazing Thailand! Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? This is just for you guys right here in this room at NAS Summit, not for anyone else. We are going to be supporting or sponsoring one lucky winner chosen by the Tourism Authority of Thailand to receive an all-expenses-paid trip to Thailand for seven days! It's going to be one of you here in this room, so all here are the rules. What I need you to do is to create a three-minute content telling us about your amazing self 
and what amazing content you're going to be creating in amazing Thailand. That's it. That's it. So send your submissions to, uh, send your entries to, where is it? Submission at woodytalk.com. And I am so excited to be welcoming one of you guys to Bangkok. And don't forget, if you guys do go to Thailand, drop me a message in one of my handles, okay? NAS Summit, it has been an honor for me to be spending the past 15 minutes with you guys. You guys are great. Thank you.